Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. I hope you're all well. Today's review is of Epic Bait Molds 2 inch core shot crappie bait. Let's start the review of the mold now itself. Again, this is an Epic Baits mold, two inch core shot used for crappie fishing. The overall dimensions are four and a half inches by four and a half inches and roughly an inch and a quarter thick. This is an injection type mold. It is made of aluminum, CNC'd out with a machine. This mold is a 12 cavity mold has six internal rods used for that core shot procedure very professionally done it's very detailed the machine work is excellent you can see here in the bottom half of the mold there are air uh, removal vents to remove all the air as is injected this mold is a very nice mold definitely something if you enjoy the core shot procedure or you enjoy crappie fishing something that I would get. I've been very, very pleased. The overall outcome of my bait so far, I've been very pleased with as well. Now let's go over to the table and shoot some baits. Prior to shooting any mold, you should clean the mold real well. One thing you have to do with these core shot molds is lubricate the internal rod here. What I use is mineral oil or warm oil to do that. You want to do that, otherwise it will be hard and difficult to remove the outer shell and have that good clean cavity for that internal core shot. What I have here is the outer body of the, the bait at this time. What I've done here is I've taken a medium blend plastisol and I've added this pink flake. This is something I got from the local uh, Hobby Lobby here um, in our area. At the local lake, the, the fish, they seem to like that pink and chartreuse, so I'm making this outer body a pink color, and then I'm gonna shoot the inner core with the chartreuse uh, uh, tail and inner core. It doesn't take much plastic in these small crappie baits. That's one thing I like about them. You can Come out here with a little bit of plastic and make a lot of baits. All day long with half a cup of plastic, you can uh, make several dozen baits. So we'll let this set up. We'll be back shortly. After you open your mold, you'll see here this conglomeration of plastic and these small rods what you have to do is remove the outer shell of the bait off of this rod and that's where your lubrication comes in real well and it just slides off real real easy one thing that you definitely need to make sure is that there are no tears and this little orifice is open because when you do the core shot the plastic will actually go through the head portion here through the entire body and then out the tail and that's what forms the tail but you definitely need to make sure that you have a clean cavity there so all of the plastic will come off of the, um, so all the plastic will actually go through the internal bait. Just It's a slow process here, but very rewarding. So there you go, you can see it there. You can barely see it, has, it does have that slight pink to it, but it's a clear body. And then when we get finished, we will shoot the chartreuse tail. The second and one of the most important steps in making these core shot baits are putting these bodies back into the mold so you can shoot the inner core and tail. Take your time when you're doing this. It is a time process, but the more time you take, the more pride you take in your baits, the, the better the outcome. But it does take a little time. Again, you wanna make sure that both orifices on both ends are open so the fluid uh, when if the plastisol will go through the entire body. 
Now it's time for the most important step in this, that's shooting the core through the middle of the body. Uh, mixed up some Plastisol, used some Dead On Chartreuse Plastic uh, Colorant I'm from Dead On Plastics. Some of the best colorant that's out there in my personal opinion. So let's shoot this now, this core. It doesn't take much. You have to do hold a little bit of pressure though to kind of make sure that you do get through the orifices of the body. Fill up the sprue as normal and then sit back and let it cure. I did get my plastic a little hotter to go through the orifice on the body. That does help. We'll sit here and let that cure and then we'll set and open it up and see what we have. And folks, here's the final product of the core shot two inch core shot mold by Epic Bait Molds. I'm very pleased with the overall um, way that this mold works. Something that I'm very proud to have in my in my bait mold collection. You can see here with these colors could have possibly used a little bit darker flake in the body, but the overall core uh, went through real well. Chartreuse tail, pink uh, light pink flake in the body. But this bait uh, mold, I give it a 10 out of 10. I can't complain about it at all. Uh, did have to uh, learn how to use it when I first got it, but overall, uh, can't complain. These do take a little bit of time, but again, like I said, the more pride and the more uh, time you put in these, the, the better these will turn out. Great mold by Epic Bait Molds. Uh, another one that I wanted to show you, same plastics, uh, poured them at the same time. And this is another core shot mold by Angling AI. You can see there that the core went through real well. Um, can't complain about, about this mold either. But uh, this overall review is for the Epic Bait mold. So that's where I'm going to stay at. But I like this mold. Uh, go get it. Shoot some baits with it. If you have any questions, please shoot me a message. Um, again, if you like the overall content, give me a uh, thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, take care, stay safe out on the water. We'll see you.